welcome back everyone we can discuss some more questions of multiplexers the first one is consider a multiplexer with x and y as the data inputs and z as the control input as z equal to 0 it select input x and z equal to 1 it select input y what are the connections required to realize the two variable boolean function f is equal to t plus r without using any additional hardware. So from the given information, here we have two inputs and one control input. Control input means one selection line. So it is clear that this is a 2 by 1 multiplexer. And what are the inputs? X and Y. And the selection line is a set. As function, function is given like f is equal to t plus r and from the other details as z equal to 0 it select x as the output and as z equal to 1 it select y as the output. So now we can write the expression corresponding to this. This is the given output function that is f is equal to t plus r. Okay. Now we can write the expression using the selection and inputs that is f is equal to set as z equal to 0 it select x as the output and f z equal to 1 it select y as the output. From this it is clear the function f is set complement that means z equal to 0 then it select x set dash x plus set and y. That is f set equal to 1, then it select y. Okay. Set complement and x plus z plus y. Now, this is our expression. And now we can consider the options. Okay. Our task is to identify the correct input combination that will generate our function f is equal to t plus r. This is our expression based on input and selection line. Now we can consider one by one each and every options and try to generate or try to identify the correct input combination that will generate function as t plus r or the output as t plus r. So we can start from this last option. I hear in this option x is given as r and y means y is assigned with 0 and selection line set is assigned with t. So while applying this value over this expression we get f is equal to z dash that is z is here t that is t dash t complement and x here is r so t complement and r plus z is t t and y is 0. So, t and 0. t and 0 is 0. So, here f is t dash r. This is not equal to our expected function output f equal to t plus r. So, this option is not the correct input combination. So, go for the next option c. Here, x is given as t, y is given as r, z is given as 0. Now apply this input to this expression of f. So f is equal to z dash x that is 0 dash t. 0 dash means 0 complement and t plus z y. 0 and y is r. That is 0 complement is 1. That is 1 and t plus this term is 0. That is t. This is again not equal to our expected output f is equal to t plus r. So, this option is also not the right choice. So, go for the next one that is b. Here x is t, y is r, z is t. So, apply this input to this expression f is that is z complement that is t complement and x that is t plus z and y t and r that is t complement and t is 0 
plus T and R is TR. This is not again equal to our expected output. So, we go for the next option A. Here X is R, Y is 1, is it is T, is it is T. Okay, by applying this input to this expression of F, we get T complement and R plus, is it is T, that is T and 1. That is T complement R plus T. Now we can apply the OR operation over this T complement and R. Distribute this OR. That is T complement plus T and R plus T. T complement plus T is 1. So 1 and R plus T. That is R plus T itself. R plus T is T plus R. So this is the expected output function f equal to t plus r. So, this is the right choice for our inputs x, y and sorry, input x, y and z. Using this value, we get the exact output as f is equal to t plus r. So, option A is the right answer. Next is, consider a 2 cascaded 2 by 1 multiplexer. 2 cascaded multiplexers. 2 by 1 multiplexers. Okay. So, here we want to get the expression corresponding to this x. How? Generate first the expression corresponding to this first multiplexers output. Okay. So, from this x dash is equal to if p equal to 0, we select this. If p equal to 1, we select r. So, b, p dash and 0 plus p r. That is the expression corresponding to x dash. Okay. This is the output of our first multiplexer, which is taken as one of the input of our second multiplexer. Now, we can generate the expression of this x. Okay. So, this is actually p r. For this x, the expression is Q complement R dash plus Q this one. This is actually X dash. The previous output of this multiplexer. That is the output of this previous multiplexer. Okay. Q dash. When Q equal to 0, it select this one. And Q equal to 1, they select this X dash. So, Q dash R complement plus Q into X dash. Okay. Now, we can apply the exact expression for this X dash. That is PR. Okay. While expanding this, we get Q dash R dash plus PQR. So, option D is the right answer. The circuit shown below, the output of a 2 by 1 multiplexer is given by the function AC dash plus BC. Which option is right? So, this is the given diagram. Here, two 2 by 1 multiplexer are cascaded. And this is the output, final output function F. Its expression is given like this. AC dash plus BC. Okay. And we need to get the correct expression among these options. For that, we need to take the exact expression for this G first, based on that, we can identify the exact expression of this F. So, start with this G. Before that, we need to consider the input of this A, B, C of first multiplexer. A is 1, B is 0, C is X1. Okay, what is the expression of this G? When C equal to 0, we can take A. And C equal to 1, we can take B. So, G is C dash A plus C into B. While substitute the exact input value of C, A and B, this G become C dash is X1 dash. X1 dash and A is 1 plus X1 and 
B is 0. This term becomes 0. So, G is x1 dash. Okay. Now, we derive the expression for G that is x1 dash. Now, we can take the expression of F. Here, A input is connected with G. B is connected with x1. And C is connect. That selection line C is connected with x2. Expression for this F is. When C equal to 0, it select A input. C equal to 1, it select B input. Here, A input value is whatever value for this G, that is the input of A. So, X2 dash and X1 dash plus the C is X2 and B is X1. Right? So, this is x2 dash and x1 dash plus x2 and x. So, option C is the right answer for F. Okay, in this question, uh, we can derive the answer directly as we have done here. Another way, here the function F and its expression is directly given in the question. Right? So, after getting the expression for G, we can apply the input values to this expression in order to get expression corresponding to this f. Here f is given like this ac dash plus bc. Right. So after generating the expression for this g, now a is connected with g. So x1 dash. g is x1 dash and c dash is C is x2, so C dash is x2 dash plus B. B is x1 and C is x2. Okay, so using the information given here, we can apply the input values directly in this expression after generating G value. That is G is x1 dash here. Okay, so or either we can proceed directly from the beginning and we can generate the expression of f and the other way we can consider the expression of f given in the question directly and after getting the expression for g we can apply the input directly to this given expression and generate the same answer so option c is the right answer thank you